with the rich history of the property dating all the way back to the 1800s, no wonder that's one of the reasons why Hamel's on the tailor is a special place to so many people. Let's head back out to this tranquil spot on the edge of the Taylor River. And we're continuing our We Are Gunnison County here on Loving Living Local. And I'm back with Nathan. That's one of the Hamels on the tailor. I love the name as well. I love the name. Yeah. And it has that historical vibe as well, doesn't it? Because it's family, it family does. owned. Which is, it, it means a lot, doesn't it? It, it does. makes it a little bit more special, it doesn't does. it? It really does. Uh, so I've been having a bit of a wander around. We're on, obviously, we're on the tailor. And you offer a wide range of activities here, don't you? That we people do. can try, mm -hmm. but also people can stay here as well. Yeah. Let's talk about some of those. Yeah, so we have uh, 39 cabins or units uh, ranging from kind of small motel style rooms mm -hmm. all the way up to one, two, three bedroom cabins uh, with kitchens that are on the river. Um, and then we do have a seven bedroom house that's great for family reunions, weddings, uh, a space to be kind of away from the rest of the resort. That's amazing, it really is. And it's a year in, year out, obviously, or is it just seasonal? It, it's just a seasonal resort. Okay. Um, so we're open uh, about the middle of May mm -hmm. through October. Um, we're looking to potentially expand, but uh, we'll see when we get there. It's wonderful. You can grab food and drink here as well? You can, yeah. So we're, we're sitting on the back deck of our restaurant. Uh, we call it Bites and Brews on the Taylor. Um, just a great place to stop and grab a bite to eat after out fishing or rafting um, or even horseback riding across the street. Uh, and then we also have a coffee shop um, mm -hmm. that we proudly serve Starbucks products. So yeah, grab a, grab a great coffee drink and just enjoy being in nature. And with the food as well, you've got the restaurant inside. Um, with that, is it, is it breakfast, lunch and dinner? Do you serve, do you serve mm -hmm. all? Yes, sir. Yeah, so we serve uh, breakfast complimentary to our guests who stay here. The public's welcome to come, uh, but usually it's a hot buffet breakfast. Amazing. Um, and then lunchtime, usually about 11, we'll open up the saloon and the bar, uh, as well as food offerings and stay open until 9 o'clock at night. Um, we have prime rib Fridays and different, <sighs> different events like that. Prime rib Friday? Oh, why didn't they invite us on a Friday? <laughs> so really it's a one-stop shop, not just for obviously people coming in from out of town as well, but even for the local res local community as well. It is. Yeah. yeah. What's it like being part of the community? It's, it's awesome. Um, I, we were talking earlier, I grew up on the Front Range, but coming here, the people are, are weirdly nice and loving. Uh, the community, we, we love to try to, to give back um, to our locals, uh, whether it's our athletic teams at Western and uh, in town and mm -hmm. or, um, adaptive sports uh, fundraiser up in Crested Butte. Um, we we love love the people here. We want to keep inviting them to enjoy this space. Fantastic. We're going to be chatting a lot more with Nathan later on in the show about the space and how you can find out more information as well about this wonderful location at Harmel's here on the Taylor. And we still haven't been finished fishing yet, but we might be going soon. Isn't that right, Nathan? That's right. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. And for all the information about Harmel's on the tailor, head to the website you screen, see right now on your screen. And this We Are Gunnison County segment is sponsored by Harmel's on the tailor.